Are you ready for the intro? Yeah. Okay. What is going on guys? Today we are back with another video. It is me. We got the Shelpster with. We got Surly Boy. Come here. Come here, Surly Boy. Come here. Up, up, up. Hi. Oh, Surly Boy's with. And uh, it's kind of mid-morning right now and uh, we're up here today in northern Wisconsin and we're going to be targeting some whatever bites kind of pattern, which is pretty much all you can expect or hope for this like kind of late winter time frame really cold out this morning we already got everything set up in the shack and uh below zero this morning and it's just one of those cold post frontal um high pressure kind of days out here but i'm anticipating that uh we're gonna stick shelter in the shack we're anticipating she's gonna hopefully catch a bunch of smallmouth maybe a walleye or two and uh while she's doing that i'm gonna run around outside and uh brave the frigid cold and do some fishing shelby what are your words I am excited and I you love small ball through the ice. I do. So that's what I'm hoping I'll be catching a lot of. Um, I'll have the underwater camera, which I also love. Love watching them on the camera. Yeah, it's going to be And it's day. cold. It's cold. It It'll is be cold. warm in the shack though. All right. Well, that's kind of the plan. And uh, like we said, Shelpster's in the shack. I'm running around. If I had to put money on it, I would bet Shelpster will catch more fish and I will get more cold than she will. But stay tuned. Let's get it going on. Get in your little otter and uh, let's catch some fish. Okay. Punch it out. That's how neutral and negative some of these fish are midwinter like this. All right, we got the mark on, we got rods, we got a pocket full of minnows, and like we just said, I'm gonna be hole hopping around while Shelter's in the shack, so this is the last you guys are gonna see of me on a camera on a tripod. And we're gonna run over to the chesty, run around some of these little rock sweet spots, and hopefully have a good day. Oh, she even started first pull. First pull. Well, stay tuned. We're gonna hopefully catch a few fish. Fish on, right there. Hooked up. Came up pretty decent. Barely had time to get the GoPro on. This is my second spot since I've moved outside here. First spot did not mark a single fish. What do we got? He's folding up the Elliot real nice. Ooh, it is a nice smallie. Come here, buddy. <laughs> there we go. I do not want to get my gloves too wet today because it is cold outside. Yesterday we were out filming on a different body of water which we did not really get a video because the ice wasn't good enough and uh it was like 27 degrees today it's about negative 15 degrees and there we go my first fish of the day not sure how shelbster's doing he's like stunned it's so cold out go back down buddy go back down to your little little rocky home sometimes these smallies will just like curl up in the hole and then they'll just shoot off out of nowhere He's just all curled up hard. He's like, it is so cold outside. Go back down a little smallie. Oh, there he goes. There he goes, kicking off good. So cold out, but uh, fish number one out here, whole hopping. That is, uh, once again, just on my favorite little deep water late in the season spoon, the Acme Castmaster in the tungsten size. Got him right there. Fish number two on. It feels like a big blob of nothing. Oh, he's starting to do some stuff here. Starting to do some stuff. And I'm marking like maybe one fish on each spot. I'm actually probably on spot number four now. 
and littler smallmouth here not quite the size we are after no walleyes yet pretty standard smallmouth stuff so far and you can see how he bit that look how negative and neutral that bite was i mean just like touched it and my rod tip just semi-loaded <laughs> there we go a little chunk or smallmouth gosh they're just so hard when you pull them out of the water you got to turn you around though buddy come on let's turn you around get you going down the right way it's funny today it's like you pull them out of the water and they just like flash freeze for a second He's gonna be just fine though. There he goes. He just stalled out for a moment. Well, there we go. No idea how Shelby's doing, but two fish outside in the frigid temp so far. And uh, we'll take them. This is the time of year where we take every bite we get from whatever it is. Oh, Cody, we're hooked up. We're hooked up. Talking on the phone with Cody. Hooked up. Could be a nice walleye. Could be a nice walleye, Cody. It's fighting like a walleye. What do you think? No way, right? No way is it a walleye. It's fighting like a walleye. Oh, it's a 16-inch walleye. What? All right. On the phone with Cody. Cody, say something to the camera. You're right next to the mic. Are you proud of me? There we go, boys. Well, they don't come easy this time of year. They don't come easy this time of year. Well, there's a nice eater walleye, and look at that. Just barely kissed that tungsten, that tungsten cast master there. That is what I'm talking about. We'll get you guys a nice little shot with the sun. You know, not a big walleye, but I'll tell you what. They are hard to catch this time of year on these inland lakes. And even just seeing a couple of these a day. Great success. We're gonna let that guy go. Gotta be letting a lot of these fish in these these natural lakes go because they've just gotten so pounded over the last few years. You know, it's one thing to say a lake like uh, a Green Bay or a Leech Lake, these big bodies of water, you know, could sustain a lot more life, and these smaller ones that just get hit super hard every weekend of the season, they don't have enough walleyes for us to be keeping the amount of walleyes that guys are keeping out here. So gotta let them go. What the heck? All right, guys, just let that walleye go. Oh my gosh, Cody, we're hooked up again. I think the walleyes are coming in. This is a bigger fish. Uh, this could be a big bass. It's big whatever it is, though. It's big whatever it is. All right, guys, we'll just let that last walleye go. Drop back down, still on the phone with Cody. He's my little good luck term today. Oh, it's a huge smallmouth. The big old big old smallmouth oh look at that thing dude i don't think he's 20 but he's 19. I don't, I don't think he's 20 but he's 19. there we go look at that two in a row it's like sometimes that school moves in and they start firing look how pretty look how red those eyes are big fat smallmouth my hands are freezing because it's like 10 below out today and uh doing the whole hopping thing outside but it's definitely paying off there we go there's another nice smallie this is like my fourth or fifth spot now and uh oh there he goes all perky and angry i take i like it i like it and they're chowing that little tungsten cast master right there just a small chunk of minnow on there is all you need there we go two nice fish in a row i like it i like it i like it and that one really loaded up the elliott evolution series 44 light right there back down we go Oh, we got him, we got him, we got him. <laughs> That's crazy, guys. I wish I had another camera because I'm just literally sitting on the phone talking to Cody this whole time. 
And uh, this has all been in the span of what, like five minutes, would you say? Yeah. Where I just keep having fish fire up. And this one's doggy all around the hole here. Gotta be bass, I'm thinking. Another big old smallie. This one's like even bigger, Cody. <laughs> all right, I'll let you go for now. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm letting my good luck charm Cody go for a second here. And uh, look at that, dude. That is what I'm talking about. Big old stud smallmouth right there, man. That is cool. Look how red his mouth is from eating stuff probably off the bottom or something. That is cool. We'll get him popped off here. Oh, is that a nice fish? We'll give you guys a little better sun angle. Look how long and thick and heavy that fish is right there. About as good as it gets. This has been a little prime time window through the ice. And that fish is, I can guarantee you, put him on a, a tape 20 inches long. There we go. And if he's not, he's about just a hair short. And look at that big gold smallie. These are much better than the size I was catching the other day. I mean, that's an 8 inch hole and he's, you know, filling it girth wise. And there he goes, kicking off strong. Oh, my hands are cold. But uh, we're catching some fish out here, just jigging right off the snowmobile. And we always, one of the biggest questions I always get asked on these videos is what kind of boxes are these on your sled? They are Contico Extreme Tough. That is the kind of boxes they are. And how do you mount them on a sled? Well, you can mount them probably just if you made, it'd be a lot easier just to do one, but I kind of built a steel frame up after you remove the two-up seat. Invaluable resource for moving around and hole hopping like this because you can carry so much stuff with you And uh, especially on lakes like Lake Superior when you're going across a lot of rough ice for really long ways I'm warming my hands up. That's why we're doing this long talk right now If you put like your flashers and your heaters in your in your otter and drag it, you know 10 miles across the ice That stuff is just gonna be destroyed by the time you get to where you're fishing so Having something like these boxes where you can put your valuable stuff in is 100% uh, the way to go. Got him. <laughs> he bit at that like four times. Okay, let's see if I can, oh no, 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 okay. He's gonna be feisty at the hole. Oh, come on, no. Got him, oh my God. <laughs> oh, they have been a little finicky today. Um, Let's see if I can get them popped off. Yes, but I got it done. Finally, look at this. We are using the underwater camera today. Awesome footage. Yeah, I'll take that any day. Let's see if we can get some more of these finicky eaters to bite. There you go. And I still got my minnow. We got a walleye on camera. He looks interested. I tried, I tried. <laughs> so
spot number eight, nine maybe, somewhere in there. We got some serious ice, but the trusty light flight chews through it. Gotta get a rod. And you guys know how much I love these kind of just hole hopping days, trying a million spots. Having all your stuff quickly and easily accessible is a game changer. We got the MX-7 just sitting ready to roll right in one of the compartments rod strapped down on top ready to go and we're fishing that quick spot to spot to spot oh my gosh got him right there slack line me feels real heavy just had time to click the gopro on right as that fish was kind of about to fly up i can't tell walleye or smallmouth here Cannot tell. I can tell he's on the deucer though, which I'm not liking too much. Oh, he's big and gnarly right here. What do we got? Oh, it's another big old smallie. <laughs> oh man, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Look how dark this guy is too. Well, I'm not sure how Shelfster's doing in the shack. But uh, we are on some fish out here and just moving around a whole bunch, spot to spot to spot. And I would say Shelby should just come out here and do this with me, but it's so cold out today. Look at that dude, beautiful chunker right there. About as good as it gets. Plenty of hook sets today. One walleye, bunch of smallies so far. Not complaining one bit about any of this. There he goes, back down to his little rock hump. Let's do it again. I'm digging it. It's surprisingly decent fishing for the cold front today. And these smallies are just folding up this, this light action rod, which is just a ton of fun. All right, gloves are on. Back down we go. Are you calling it? Calling it a day, a, a good hard day's work. I well, should get out of the shack and shoot an outro shelbster. Yep. I'm sure everybody would like to hear the exciting recap, which was your morning out here. <laughs> That'd be super exciting. It is incredibly bright out. Oh, surly boy. Did you have fun? I know you had fun. Give me the lowdown, lady. The lowdown. Bass fishing per my request, and oh, my legs are sore. Um, I had a struggle, but. Why'd you have a struggle? You know, the bass just don't want to bite. It was tricky. tricky. Your ice season has sucked. It has. I've had a horrible ice season, even though I have tried. I've done the same things Tom has done. It's like I fished for five days. And it's pretty good take shelves are back to the same bite and it sucks it seems like every single time but i did catch some fish today and it was a good time and uh we're gonna get out of here kind of midday right now it's only like 11 30 or noon or something like that and uh we're gonna get out of here and go do something else the rest of the day i'm not gonna lie enthusiasm for ice fishing starting to fall down 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 would you agree yeah i mean the lake trout was a fun mix up i had fun doing that Today was fun, but um, I'm not gonna kill myself ice fishing the next couple weeks of ice season. Shoot a little video here and there and uh, start rigging boat to get back in a boat here, hopefully sooner rather than later. But I appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, and what else do we wanna say? Is there anything else? Um, oh, I guess we could say this. Hopefully this video may make it out in time. February 26th, I'll be at Warner's Dock in New Richmond, Wisconsin, Marina. Uh, bought several boats from these guys, several of my Lumacrafts from them, and uh, they kind of got a little open house. So I'll be down there. Um, the hours will be like 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. I'll be down at Warner's Dock in New Richmond, Wisconsin, and uh, stop by, swing in, talk fish, and anything else, Shubster, any other points we need to bring up or no? Not as of yet. 
Not as of yet. All right, well, um, everybody give Shelby a round of applause for doing an amazing job catching all the fish today. I appreciate you guys watching this. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you guys next time.